Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Welcome back to the channel and good morning to you from Dubai. Now it's my first full morning here. We literally arrived yesterday, went straight into the motor show, two videos out same day, two more videos that followed. But today we're going to go off and pick up the cars that I'm going to be driving here. The cars because there are two. So we're heading over to Audi at the Dubai Autodrome because an R8 Spider awaits as does a TTRS. So this should be kind of fun. The cars are both bright colors. I'm looking forward to it. But first, before I go anywhere, quick just shout out to those guys who are very bravely cleaning windows on the Dubai skyscrapers. Everywhere you go here, you are sandwiched between exceptionally tall buildings. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Motor Show content. There is so much to come from this trip, so definitely be subscribed, click the bell for the notifications. But let's jump in a cab, head over, and pick up these Audis. The craziest thing known to man is happening. Our taxi is a Tesla Model S, an electric car in the UAE. That is very unusual, but we will jump in and get on the way. Good morning. Hi there, it's Tim. How are you? Fine, sir. Now, you definitely do not miss that building, the Burj Khalifa. Cool through the panoramic glass roof. And over there, the Burj Al Arab for the sale. The Seven Star Hotel. And here we are. So the Dubai Autodrome, where we're coming to find the cars in a moment. Here they are. Those are the cars. We'll jump out and take a look. Thank you very much for that. Here we are then, and look at this lineup that Audi Sports Middle East have put on behind me. We've just been taking some photos of the cars for their pages and also for mine, but let's take a quick little look at, I suppose you could say, the Schmimobiles of Dubai. The two at the front, we have the supercar, the R8 V10 Spider, and then we have the daily driver, the Audi TT RS, which is not exactly a bad daily driver. So I'll be driving these two cars for the next two Two weeks while I'm out here, plus throw in a little bit of the RS3 saloon later on. The RS Q3 here just finishing the lineup. But look at the colors of these cars. I'm going to walk a little bit around the TTRS and the R8, and I suppose introduce them to you. Both cars you're probably familiar with before now. I've been lucky enough to drive them both before. The R8, especially, this is the R8 V10 Spider, the car with 540 horsepower that comes from the 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 that sounds incredible. V10s are always an epic, epic sound. Mate it to the seven-speed double-clutch gearbox and quattro all-wheel drive, and it is going to be an awesome, awesome car to drive. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 3.6 seconds. Very, very quick, and Spider, of course. Maybe for me in the evenings, in the daytime here, I am British after all. It is very, very sunny and hot, low 30 degrees or so. I'm not necessarily sure I'll have it top down. Maybe just for a bit of fun to, uh, to try out. But this car in Vegas yellow is looking awesome. I love the way it has the black wheels, all the accents, the black accents around the car, like the side vent, just strike out against that. I've always liked the silver chrome surround for the windscreen. You also get that on the buttresses on the rear deck as well. I think they look really, really nice. The new R8 is just a little bit more edgy than the previous generation, as you might remember from the car. I used to own back when an awesome, awesome car that I did many, many miles with. So it's nice to be back at the wheel of the R8. We'll have more of a look at the interior shortly, but the virtual cockpit, the full digital dashboard, this is gonna be really, really fun to drive around over the next couple of weeks. So if you see me in that, do say hello. And likewise, if you see me in the daily driver in the Catalonia Red TTRS, equally do say hello as well. So this again, Quattro, 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder up front. 400 horsepower, 480 newton meters. Another car I'm familiar with driving. I went to the press launch at Yarama in Spain. The circuit out there had an awesome, awesome time. And guess what? 0 to 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour in this. 3.7, just 1.1, sorry, behind the R8. 3.6, 3.7. This thing is fast. Very, very, very fast. I'm looking forward to driving this an awful lot. It's got decent luggage space, a two-seater, yes, but what do you really need more than that? Well, what do I need? Well, I say two-seater. There is room in the back. I'm not necessarily sure I'm going to squeeze in the back. Although I say that, but you know what? Not actually as small as I necessarily thought back there. I don't really have any need, fortunately, for extra people around. But again, the double-clutch gearbox, a car that I'm familiar with. Each time I've driven the new generation TT, I've had a good time. So I'm sure this will be no exception at all. And the colors 
Catalonia Red and the Vegas Yellow. Wait until we take them out to the sunshine to take some pictures of these two cars together. That is going to be awesome. And then while we're here, let's have a quick glance at the other two, the Glacier White RS3 Saloon sedan, depending where you're from, that we're going to be doing some more driving with too. Another car that, well, shares the same engine as the TTRS with 400 horsepower. Oh, I like the red accents on the inside. That's all very cool. So I'm looking forward to filming some more with that in due course. So watch this space for that, those videos to come up. For the moment, it's going to be about the TTRS. Look at the size of those exhaust pipes down there. Very, very cool. And this is the standard body uh, aero kit, kit for the TTRS. We saw the performance parts at the Frankfurt Motor Show. So you've seen um, the awesome rear wing that Audi have introduced, Audi Sport have introduced for that as well. But yeah, there we have it. The Shabim Mobile daily driver here in Dubai and the supercar. This is going to be awesome fun. So for the various events coming up, you will probably find me on board one of these two over the coming weeks. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to that. So a big thanks from me to Audi Sport Middle East for hooking me up with these cars to drive. This is going to be awesome. But let's take the cars away, go have a proper look at them. Actually, let's jump in the R8 first and start it. But then we'll take them out and go find somewhere to take some nice pictures in the sunshine. But for the moment, stepping in here, just to start it up. Oh, let's turn the lights onto auto so they're not chiming at us. The virtual cockpit. And get ready to start it, actually. Ignition on, into dynamic mode. Mmm, the sweet bubble of a V10. So this is going to be awesome, awesome fun. I'm very, very much looking forward to the adventures ahead. I'm looking forward to sharing them all with you. So let's get a move on. And I'll talk to you more, more about the cars. Off we go then, and I am following the TTRS, which Mark is currently driving. I'm starting with the roof down, but no doubt in about two minutes I'm going to regret that and change and put it up. So I'm actually driving immediately in dynamic, which means noisier, slightly more aggressive. From my experience, that's the right way to drive an R8. Just a little bit more fun, although obviously I will be flipping at the paddles to change gears very shortly. But I suppose you could say this is the uh, first kilometer in the Dubai Shmimobile for this trip, for this adventure driven different cars obviously on previous uh, trips out here. Got a nice little tunnel exiting from the autodrome. He says, let's... <laughs> no, I, wasn't, I wasn't quick enough on the paddles to get a downshift. Need to pop it to the right to go into manual. Nice little bit of V10 sound. I love the downshifts, especially when you're driving this car harder. The noise it makes is just brilliant. Anyway, let's go find somewhere to take some pics in this sunshine he says as he puts the roof back up to keep myself a little bit cool and I guess at least my brain engaged otherwise I'm gonna get frazzled very very quickly out here okay so I forget how driving in Dubai you have all of these lanes or roads with many many lanes that just make everything very very confusing however Listen to that, the V10, the unadulterated sound of the V10, and somewhere is the rear window. There we go. More noise. That is what we like. Crackles, I've obviously got it in the sportiest mode possible. The maximum noise possible. Well, I find myself behind I guess somebody quite important from Abu Dhabi, a huge motorcade. Everybody driving very much in a uh, don't mess with us kind of way. Nothing like a little bit of off-roading to get us started. This is a bit unusual taking these two cars off here, but it looks like we're going to have some incredible photo opportunities just in front of us. This is a little bit of an oasis where we are now. Yeah, it looks very, very good. So first day driving this car and we're already Oh, this is awesome. We're already on a dirt track. Wonderful. Would you look at this? What a location to stop and take some photos of the two cars in the sunshine beside the oasis, the water, some birds around, ducks, a UAE flag over there in the background. But these two in the sun looking awesome. This is amazing. It's so peaceful and serene, yet we're still quite near to Dubai, which is kind of odd. It's probably the least Dubai landscape you expect to ever see out here. But nonetheless, this is an awesome fun day, collecting these two cars, just taking the pictures, and we're gonna head back in shortly, key swap naturally. Mark's gonna drive the R8, I'm gonna drive the TTRS. The daily swap from the supercar, the weekend car, to the daily car. This is kind of unreal, kind of awesome to have access to both of these for the moment, to drive around here. 
Crazy, what a day. It's so warm and sunny, the sky is blue. It's the dream, right? This is insane. Off we go then, TTRS style, following the R8 back over this interesting road surface. And quite similarly, the RS TTRS actually also has drive select, so you can put it into dynamic mode and a dedicated button for the exhaust into sport. So you can make it a little bit noisier and gearbox, that would be drive, that would be the sportier mode or right to uh, manual, but it makes a decent sound. I've obviously got the air conditioning blowing quite strong at the moment, unsurprisingly, given that it's, what temperature does it say? 32 and a half degrees, which is absolutely toasty for me. However, we'll take this very slowly so we don't make the cars too dusty and dirty then get out onto some roads so we can drive this thing and see what it's like. Okay, a few things I noticed playing around with this, flicking through the gears and whatnot. The sound is good, but it does sound a little bit speaker-based. I'm not sure, is it in this car? It doesn't sound quite all there. Anyway, um, speed, fast, undoubtedly. It's a bit more pointy, a bit more go-kart-like than the R8. You feel that it's more nimble, you know, you can just dart it around a bit more and there's almost less middle playroom, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm in dynamic, actually. That probably makes a complete difference if I put it back into comfort, let's say. Then, yeah, we get a little bit of wobble back, um, which obviously, if you're cruising along the motorway or the like you want, you can go into drive, one more pull down, you get sport. All does. The things we know about, really, in the TTRS, but feels very much a, an easy daily car, a car you just jump in and drive. The R8 does the same, but there's something there's just a little bit more so in this. <laughs> and then you listen to the noise of that V10. Revs are rising in a very nice way. I can't possibly tell you how I might know, but a rolling start with the R8 and the TTRS is incredibly close as to which is actually quicker. I honestly, I don't know. And the R8's right beside me now, but these two cars, are actually completely evenly matched and this is half the price of that yes it doesn't necessarily have all the looks of that and that's the spider not the coupe of course but in a line it's exceptionally similar exceptionally bang on maybe we'll find somewhere that we can do an official test between them and see but this is this is fascinating actually I knew this thing was quick from when I drove it before. I knew it was really, really quick, but that's really opened my eyes a little bit. Now we join Shakeside Road, which is basically where all the supercar dealerships are. And we're actually gonna go and do some supercar shopping later on. So that's gonna come in the next video. We're gonna go and explore the dealerships around Dubai and see what is sitting in the showroom windows. And Lamborghini Dubai is just coming up beside me here, but this road is crazy. It is six lanes. Nobody seems to have a clue what they're ever doing. It's the largest Lamborghini dealership in the world, that one. Um, right there, we've also got Bentley, a whole ton of others in this area. Uh, by coincidence, Lamborghini and Bentley are part of the VW group, as is Audi, so bang on topic there. But literally, my lane is just ending. You have to concentrate on what you're doing so much, not go the wrong way. Anyway, stay tuned to see some supercar shopping in Dubai. I had a lot of fun doing it before, just looking around, seeing what we could find. Ah, certain dealership just there, that we know of as well. Anyway. Um, that will be fun. For now, we go up here towards downtown, so this links the like two ends of Dubai, basically, all the way up through the middle, where we'll get back to the hotel and pop the cars up. So this is a real test of a home improvised fluffy microphone for this camera, because as you can probably tell if you look at my hair that is all over the shop, it is really very, very, very windy where I'm standing at the moment. But nonetheless, we're back at the hotel with the two cars. It's pretty awesome to have picked them up, having a lot of fun comparing a little bit the differences between them, but two, I think cars that are very, very solidly high performers in their categories, their classes, and two that are gonna be very, very enjoyable to drive during the rest of this period out in Dubai. But it's a funny one actually thinking about the microphone because you guys used to complain all the time that you were blown away by the video when it was really, really windy. It's something that's quite hard to manage on cameras because normally with these videos, with these sort of vloggy videos, it's quite easy. You just pull the camera out, right? You're not planning everything necessarily. So 
it's a difficult one to try and beat audio. Big, big struggles. Anyway, the two cars are here. It's awesome. Big thanks to Audi Sport, well, to Audi Middle East for hooking me up with these two to drive during this trip. I'm really looking forward to the rest of the adventures that are to come. And you're going to want to check them all out because there's a lot that's planned. It's all very, very exciting. So make sure you're subscribed, click that bell, get the notifications. And yeah, as always, a big thanks to those of you who watch these videos, the early viewers, the notification squad. It's really, really appreciated. Anyway, I'll wrap this one up for there. So thank you very much, guys. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.